Good luck. Welcome back to the Shogi Teaching Ladder. So each week we get to play against a higher rated opponent and a lower rated opponent and review the game afterwards. I apologize that last time we missed the post game review because of real life circumstances. I'm still more than glad to have that post game review if and when it's convenient. Interesting. Hmm. <sighs> Double check my overlay, it looks fine. <clears throat> so in, in past weeks, opponents have played this shape against me. Uh, I need to be prepared to play this against my opponents. I am more than a bit fuzzy on some of the timing here. I'm going to finish my snack off mic. The purpose of this seems to be to frustrate bishop drops or knight drops. Um, it makes sense. I'm going to complete half of a castle just in case, but then we'll push the fourth file pawn, I think. I'm not in any hurry to exchange bishops because this bishop prevents the king from securing itself further. But also, I don't seem to have good ways to waste moves. Oh, that's... Oh, interesting. Um, I don't know that this adds a whole lot. Yeah, I don't really get that. Seemingly, I could push this pawn now, right? And then take this? Have I missed something? Oh, this would be hanging. Okay, fair. We'll defend the point, they'll defend this point, and maybe my rook finds a different file or something. But also the silver might be able to advance and, well, it's not exactly how this works, is it? Hmm. 
But yeah, rook drop back here could be scary. Um, okay, so if my bishop hits this, they'll just defend this point, and then I'll look like an idiot. Um... Now, if we exchanged a pawn, I could threaten to win a knight. Yeah, this is not adding up. The knight's head is pretty weak here. Well, okay, but they can defend it quite easily. Yeah, if I get too aggressive, I get in deep crap. So... Hmm... Where's my plan? All right, it looks like I'm angling to exchange rooks here. Jeez. That is sharp stuff, man. Are you serious? Okay. I don't know which I'm taking back with here just yet, but um, probably the bishop still. But this is exciting. We've got developments in this game. We have so many developments in this game. What the hell? Is this serious? <sighs> okay. We're going to have some fireworks here in just a second. So, if we take here, knight takes a strong retort or response. If we take here, I'm not totally sure what's going on. Um, but this pawn advance looks quite exciting. Um, bishop takes looks forced, because if silver takes, they drop a pawn. 
Well, I mean, it looks forced. At this point, everything's up in the air. Silver takes pawn drop, pawn takes. They take my silver and take the knight. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's not so sharp. Not so smart, is it? Um, but yeah, where are they going to drop a bishop that has any gain to them? Also, pawn takes pawn looks interesting. They take my silver. Yeah, wait. Pawn takes pawn is, like, clearly quite good. But might not even be best. <sighs> no, it's not clearly quite good. I want to say it is. But... It's not so clear. Even so, this looks very nice. Like, pawn takes pawn would gain a tempo, but um, even though this doesn't gain a tempo, it looks fine. Silver retreat to this square looks kind of fun. Um, oh wait, hang on. I'm miscounting things. Silver, pawn, silver. Bishop takes... Uh, I would have a bishop in hand. Not... yeah. Okay. So if I simply retreat the silver, that doesn't win material either. Hmm. It's such a sharp line. Oh, I've already dropped my pawn. Um... So if the silver retreats, I'm doing magnificently, no? Maybe not. Hmm. This looks interesting.
So this knight is going to block the rook for at least one second here. Oh. They want my rook so badly. As much as I enjoy having a rook, um, a bishop is still quite a good piece. Um... As long as I'm immune to a rook drop, it's fine. Am I immune to a rook drop? I'm not sure. No, I'm not. <laughs> um... Not entirely, anyway. I can just take this, though, I think. Yeah, this looks playable. So they get my rook... If they try to drop back here, I can drop a pawn or something. It looks weird, but it's hardly the weirdest thing I've ever done. So, this castle is not complete. And they're offering to exchange their bishop for my rook. Many turns ago I remarked how surprising this was, and yeah. I don't know that I'm revising that opinion now. I'm still threatening... Well, if I can... I guess I forced my opponent to panic. This is weird. Usually I'm the one panicking. But yeah, my opponent's attacking very aggressively here, but they're not attacking my king just yet, anyway. Okay. That makes some sense, at least in one sense here. Um, so this compels... no. Seriously? I mean, I can take that, I guess. All right. They got the rook. That was their plan. Or objective, or what have you. Um... Okay, that's also pretty wild. Um, oh, I guess they want to activate the rook through this file now. Um, hmm. What's the best way to go here? Alright, their knight's threatening to promote. Um... If I drop a bishop, they'll just cut off this diagonal one way or another. If I move the silver forward, they have a rook drop somewhere, no doubt. Hmm...
They'll block, they will block off the diagonal, and that's okay. Uh, I could threaten to drop my bishop here, and then sacrifice it for this gold. Um, which might not be best, actually. But if I drop it here and then push the pawn, I'm not doing poorly. If I push the pawn and then drop the bishop here, I'm also not... I'm doing okay, but... Well, maybe that is best. I don't know. Whoa. Okay. That's smart. Um. Kore yori yo yo mini hairimas. What a wildly sharp position. So my object here is to cut the file, and I've done that. Um, Hmm. I think this is fine. Welcome. You've joined us just in time for absolute heck to break loose. So this is fun.
No. Really? I mean, this is an easy decision. I take the lance. This is such an easy decision. That can't be right, can it? I could take the silver. That's even better. Jeez. Well, no. Taking the lance is even better than better. Oh, this is wild. There we go. This is exciting. If I were in my opponent's place, I'd drop a silver here, but... Um, well, that's got a lot of risks. And I've got a night drop here immediately. And, yeah. This is pretty wild. I think my opponent got a bit excited. Now, granted, I'll probably still find a way to lose this, but, um, it's exciting. No. Okay, this protects the Night Fork. Fair. Um. <laughs> what? Actually, I mean, that protects material, but, um, wow, they're not going to like this. I can't block my attack with a pawn, but that's probably not even my best move here. This is unbelievable. Material be damned. Let's go checkmate this king. You know something's up when I'm not taking material either. But yeah, I could have dropped a lance here to, like, win material. Instead, we prepare bishop takes gold. Um, after which all of their pieces are hanging. I don't know what I would do in my opponent's position. Other than ducking cover. Uh, yeah.
I could gold drop here and then take the knight. But that can't possibly be best. Oh, their rook blocks their other rook. Even so, this looks pretty compelling. I'm way too excited here. I'm much too excited to be playing this. Um, like, I need to read out both players' threats, but I'm just much too excited to try to do that. I need this square for my knight, but I don't really, but maybe I do. Thankfully they don't have a silver general or I would be like dropping my pants. But yeah, they can drop a gold and we exchange golds and I can redrop it and I survive. They're going to threaten some tactic on this long diagonal somehow. And I'll have to survive that tactic, but as I do, things will improve a bit. Um, They might be able to drop something to somehow slow my attack here. If they play a defensive move. That's not a defensive move. Um... The question is, who gets checkmated first? It's probably me. Well, I am sufficiently spooked. Oh, yeah. I'm maybe soiling my pants at the moment. Um, yeah, that looks like a strong attack. And I don't see an easy way to evade it. If we exchange rooks, they'll drop the rook on the back rank, and I had planned a knight drop back here to try to counter that. Um, or I could try to run my king away. Yeah. 
We might try running the king away. This looks so spooky to me. Well, they don't have a silver general. They don't have a bishop well-placed, and they don't have a silver general, so I seem to actually survive this. Um, a rook drop on the back rank usually is terrifying, but here, yeah, they can't drop it there with any sort of impact. So they drop it here instead. Now, a dragon next to my castle would also be spooky, but um, that's not what we're talking about. Yeah, I screwed this up, but I'm surviving it. Huh, it's not so easy. It's not so simple. Hmm. <sighs> So a knight drop threatens to take this gold and remove all of the generals at once. I'm still threatening a lateral rook drop. If I had a gold, a rook drop would be mate, I think. Um, but at this point I'm just trying to stay calm and not fry my brain completely, reading a thousand variations instead of not reading anything. So that's not quite good. No, knight drop here, king moves, I take, they take, I don't know. Rook drop here looks better. A free rook, a free dragon. It's not free. Um. Okay. I admit, I did not expect that. Hmm. Yeah, it's not at all free. Interesting. My king can run away from this. I probably misread this somehow. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, they're threatening dragon takes silver, and then, and then what? Gold drop, silver drop, gold drop, mate.
30秒40秒50秒1234567891ゆっくり Oh, okay. Bring me my brown pants. Um, Sanjubio. ゆっくり。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。There must have been a better way. Like, I should not have taken the dragon, but, um, yeah, and I have no choice but to take this, but, um, there must have been some safer way about this. Well, let's focus on the task at hand. So I'm not in check at the moment. As much as that smells and feels like check, that's not check. That said, uh, this just sitting on the frontier of my castle is terrifying, so I can't It's just terrifying. I don't like it, but maybe I can let it exist. Um I shouldn't let it exist. Yeah. No, this is insane. That should not be there.
<sighs> Seriously? That wasn't in my candidate move list. Sanjubio Interesting. I just worsened that with the night drop, didn't I? Oh, okay. Okay, well, that'll do it. Wow. Well played. Wow. Dang. That was rough. One second here. We'll switch out of emote only mode. Uh, and we'll do our post game discussion. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dropping any general would have been better than a knight here. That's for sure. Um, let's see. So I'll get on Discord and we'll try to conduct the post-game analysis over Discord. Uh, so that'll be fun. Yeah. Cool. Um, let me get back on Discord and we'll figure out the voice call arrangements. There might be an echo. Uh, I don't frequently do these voice calls, but, you know, um, we'll work through it. So if I select this username, how do you do voice calls in Discord again? <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. I guess, do you have to, like, befriend somebody to do a voice call with them, or... Wait, no. There's the voice call button. Alright, let's give that a shot. Yeah, again, I don't... This is kind of experimental, but if it works, it works. Well, let's give it a shot. Hmm. Alright, so we're calling. Unless you meant there's some other way to conduct the call. Perhaps that's the case. Um, let's see. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll try to call... Uh, 
cool. This will be good fun. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> uh, technology. All right. We're continuing to attempt to do a voice call. Could be something on my end. Let's see. Um, well, we'll keep trying. Can you hear me? Hey, welcome. Sorry if there's an echo. I don't, uh, I'm still learning how to do this. I don't hear an echo. That sounds funny. Oh, awesome. Cool. Give me this second. I think Hidechi always recommended we do the post-game analysis from the beginning, even though, like, spectators love, uh, looking at the checkmates first. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I guess we'll start from the top. Start with you, whatever you want. Oh, people are saying your mic might be a bit quiet, or I'm just not... I don't know what I can do volume-wise here. I can try to speak louder. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that was exciting, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, hang on a second. I'm still trying to do something. Uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, let me know when you're ready. Yeah. All right. Uh, I can now read your stream chat as well. Oh, um, awesome. Perfect. Okay, so did you have something that you wanted to talk about? Uh, yeah, let's just take it from the beginning, point by point. Um, yeah, I remember Killer Ducky says, like, with, uh, at least in Go, they have this airing of grievances or whoever like lost the game starts the discussion because they have the most questions to ask or something like that so um, i think it's the same way i showed you yeah that sounds right so yeah i ended up playing an opposing rook strategy here um uh, several weeks in previous uh ladder encounters opponents have been playing this against me so i decided to give it a shot although it, i've got a lot to learn about it um, yeah, it's a strategy that uh, I see occasionally on when playing online, but uh, only a few people play it, so it's like I never really have time to learn the Joseki and whatnot. So that's fair. And yeah, when I've played this, when I've played on Shogi Wars, this is not the most popular opening either. So yeah, I'm sure Joseki wise, there's a lot both of us can learn here. I mean, yeah. I think I've seen, like, opponents build Boat Castle a lot, but other than that, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like uh, going for the uh, Badger Castle or Baron Hole or whatever uh, against uh, opposing Rook is maybe a bit optimistic because you have a lot of early attack strategies. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure half of our viewers know all this. Okay, like at this point, I was half concerned that like somehow I don't know this is gonna break through on me somewhere. I couldn't quite read it out, and yeah, I should study this a bit more. But in so this I was like, yeah, I generally, yeah. But in this poor position, I generally try to, or I, I just generally don't attack very early. Like, I mean, mm. if I get my silver up there, maybe push pawn up there, get a silver up there, then at that point, then I'll want to start attacking. Uh, ah. but attacking early doesn't really usually work well for static rook in this position, I feel. Uh, so mainly my goal here is to create counter threats so that when you try to attack through, then I can attack with my knight. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, actually, yeah. I could, uh, I could see that. Um, yeah. Oops, all right. So let's move ahead a bit. Yeah, I probably don't know if I should have moved the gold here or there. Like, moving it toward the castle would have been much safer, but this seemed way more aggressive and fun. 
Um, yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I'm usually <laughs> kind of happy when you move your goal closer to your castle because uh, it allows me to create a lot more uh, threats with my bishop diagonal since your rook is not protected. Yeah. Um, but does definitely, uh, also like later on, of course, it protects me from the rook drop in that area. But uh, it does, if, if you mess up in the mid game, it can make it harder to... Uh, by moves in the end game. Actually, yeah, that's a very good point. This probably would have saved me a lot of headache if I just moved it there instead. Um, oh, I wasn't even planning that, but uh, yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I, I think I probably would have been happy about that as well because you're still your rook is not protected. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, hypothetically, if I moved the gold up and then somehow rooks got exchanged, I could always withdraw the silver to cover the knight in the left side of the board mm -hmm. there. And like, yeah, this would actually, this would be just as flexible, I guess. Um, I should do that next yeah, time. Yeah, I guess. Mm, I might, if you did that, I might eventually aim for, you know, pawn up there to try and break apart the mm. uh, connection between your gold and silver and then drop my rook there. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, so I was quite startled to see this move here. Um, just, I don't know. Yeah, I know in a lot of other openings, say with the pawn still back one, this could be played. And um, I don't know all the Joseki there either. But here it really looked like your castle is split. And so, like, you're both defending and attacking or something. I was really confused. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to um, evolve my castle, so I want to get my silver up to there. Yeah. Uh, this is, if I get my silver up to there, this is a really well-balanced position. There's not a whole lot of uh, things that you can take advantage of. Um, mm. Like, for example, around uh, this sort of area um, protects, like, a bishop drop uh, in that area uh, so it just fills in a lot of the empty space in my on the edges of my territory so if i get myself up there i'm pretty happy uh, it does make the edge a little bit weaker which you took advantage of in this game um mm. preferably i uh, like talking optimally if uh i could get my silver up there uh, before you attack, then I would be pretty happy. Oh, awesome. Um, so, yeah, I and I I'll, I'll certainly... Oh, go ahead. Yeah. But I set up my positions, but it should be at least okay if you attack whenever. Yeah, I'll have to study that shape a bit more, because that seems... It seems like something I could use uh, against opponents, um, uh, both on mm -hmm. here and Shogi Wars, is I could start building this kind of shape. Because, like you point out, that is really solid and defends against bishop drops and such. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this, I think, was an overplay. <laughs> uh, I probably I didn't... Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I, th I think if you're going to attack, now is a good time to attack. Oh, yeah, this is... I think for me, this is a fantastic time to attack, because if I can exchange mm -hmm. bishops, uh, here the rook is hanging, the knight's potentially a bit exposed. Well, I guess you're trying to attack before I can hit the knight, but... Um, but, yeah, this... Uh, there's just a few things hanging all at the moment here, and like I haven't built the world's strongest castle ever, but uh, it's probably good enough. But maybe I should throw this in. I don't know. But um, yeah, I was quite excited at this point that like with uh, the pawns in this shape, uh, they can't really stop my bishop on this diagonal, nor can you easily stop the bishop on that diagonal either. So, I was really excited about this. Um, yeah, um, what was move 58 that I was mentioning? Uh, oh, there. Uh, probably an endgame thing. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm well, sure I missed some it. really simple things in the end game. Um, so yeah, either here I probably should have continued developing my castle maybe once more, or um, I'm not. I mean, I could like blunt the diagonal a bit, and I don't know. Uh, I don't need to play so aggressively here, but I was extremely optimistic when I played this. Yeah, I guess uh, if we look at the way that this game ended, that would be a pretty high value move in this position. Um, but maybe things would have gone differently if you had played that. He, oh yeah, yeah. At least yeah, end game wise, this would have prepared that quite well. Um, yeah. Okay, so attack. Um, I'm not totally sure this is. A good move here, even. Uh, I've tried mm -hmm. to, this sort of attack a lot of times uh, in real games, and it seems to generally work pretty decently, but I don't know the Joseki here at all, so maybe it would be better for me to just take your pawn here. Oh. Um, yeah, we could look at other variations, sure. Um, you mean like taking this one or this one? Um, yeah, this got really complicated, and I'm sure an engine could resolve it, uh, so, like, yeah, my pawn push kind of forces you to start taking things and open up the board while your castle's not complete yet, uh, so even if I have blundered here, uh, I was confident that I could get the material back somehow, um, but, I mean, the yeah. current castle strength that I have is not too bad either. It would just mm. be a lot better if I had my silver up there. Yeah, this would have been much safer, I think. Um, um, but yeah, either this works or it doesn't. You've gambled a lot to try to win a little, I think. But uh, it worked out. <laughs> um, I mean, the, my goal here is like to let you sort of win on the very right side and the attack in the middle. So I don't think I'm gambling a whole lot. Mm. I mean, you're pretty much guaranteed since you've put so many moves onto the uh, second file that you're going to mm. win over there. So pretty much my only goal is to, at some point, attack over there. Um, I see. Pretty sure. I, mean, I yeah. don't know exactly what the correct move sequence is, but I'm pretty sure attacking there but, in some way, is Joseki. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I had, that makes sense. Okay. I was imagining that somehow, if the worst happened, my rook would just run away. And yeah, I'd concede the file, but find some other frontier. But yeah, with you taking... This castle is pretty solid. And if you can control the diagonal and control that file, you're doing pretty well. So that makes sense. I could see that. Yeah, I'm not sure what the move order or anything like that is either. Uh, um, yeah, this is good. Uh, this defended your castle and continued your attack. And if I were familiar with what were what was going on here, I would know what to do. But I was a bit lost. I really wanted to take this. I think we've desynchronized. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm no longer seeing the same board state as you. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess I could try to go back to the beginning of the game or something. Does that show up? or? Nope. Um, this is weird. Uh, hmm. Let me try leaving and rejoining. Oh, sure thing. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Melkor is saying that uh, if in doubt, there's always the button follow latest position in the upper right corner. 
I can see that. Um, I'm playing on mobile, so my UI is different than yours. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should try out the mobile app sometime. Yeah. Oh, I joined your room. Oh, okay, you joined the room. Interesting. I'm not saying I don't know how to join the room again. Oh, you don't know how. Okay, um, uh, is there a game list or something? I don't think 81 Dojo has a way for me to invite you to a room. You'd have to find the game. Uh, let's see what viewers suggest. Somebody commits something. Yeah, they're saying fuck all. Uh, bottom big button on the right is what they're saying. I don't know what that means, but I've not used the mobile app before. Uh, and then find game you are playing. Huh. But yeah, Melkor says on the bottom right there's some large button to help you find a game you were playing. Uh, um. Yeah, to fill a little time, I do look forward to whenever Lee Shogi eventually makes a mobile app. I don't know if that's going to be this year or some future year, but... I'll keep these things in mind too. On mobile, there's a bar on the button, and you will need to click the big button there further right. After that, you are searching your game. Huh. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, welcome. Cool. Yeah, so I guess I'll I'll make arrows and moves and things if that helps th keep things simple. Uh, sure. Um, but yeah, the, I liked this bishop drop you did here, uh, solidifying the castle, um, mm -hmm. and yeah, taking advantage of the pin. I wonder if I could have gotten away with this. Mm -hmm. This looked pretty severe, and I was feeling a bit of time pressure and didn't spend time reading everything here. But this looked really severe. I probably should have thought more about this. Something like this, and maybe there's some different way about it. I don't know. Yeah, Melkor is reminding me I have a translation bot in my Twitch chat, just in case Japanese viewers stop by, but yeah. Um, but no, I've been on the receiving end of this sort of attack where I've overextended my night. Um, interesting. Uh, I should take the horse. It is a horse. And then I should take the rook. So what's a bit surprising to me is that this diagonal is wide open. Um, I don't really mind if you promote your bishop in the corner as long as I have a silver in my hand. Ah, okay. Yeah, so you must have a pretty good success rate. But, well, yeah. Yeah, let's figure this out. I am a bit curious. Because the other thing I'm kind of wanting to do is just drop the rook here. Oh, yeah. Uh... And then I can get a lance and maybe get a silver. Uh... Yeah, Lily says this. I trust Lily. <laughs> Uh, yeah. OK, 
Can I take the gold? Can I take the silver? Seems like there's a lot for me to consider here. <laughs> Never trust Lily, says Melkor. Noted. <laughs> uh... Uh, I'm sure Melkor is making jokes, but yeah, uh, it looks like a really tactical position, but yeah, if you can break my castle quickly, then I'm in deep trouble here. Um, um if I go back a little bit, um, <laughs> Well, some engine would say whether or not this is um, sound or not. I don't... It looks pretty sharp either way. But yeah, maybe my rook drop is not so sharp. So, and you were saying, yeah, you don't mind so much if I were to promote in the corner. Yeah, yeah I mean, you... I would have done something like this in the game that I played as well, but I was missing the night drop. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's interesting. The drop was quite severe. Oh yeah. If I've played maybe a hundred or two games on uh, Shogi Wars, and you see some tactics over the games, <laughs> opponents are good at tactics mm -hmm. there. Lily likes the rook drop. I was initially drawn to it, but I think there's enough generals to defend against that here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Mm, maybe it works. Yeah, I like Lily's suggestion here of, um, oh, oh, wait a second. Okay, yeah. Wow, this is a very severe attack, isn't it? Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is... Okay, well, Lance there? I mean, okay, yeah, this is where an engine could supplement our findings, but yeah, Lily's findings are quite good. Uh, yeah, this is fascinating. So, like, even if somehow my rook and horse are trapped in the corner, it's not for naught. Yeah. Yeah. Worst case, even after you, like, dropped all the generals to defend your king, you've run out of attackers, and I could just, like, play this or something. But yeah, I don't yeah. even... Lily's saying I should just go checkmate you here. Which is probably right. Uh, I don't know if it works, but, like, it's the right spirit. Yeah, engines can say all specifics about this, but uh, the general concept seems pretty epic. Uh, yeah, I guess without your horse, without your bishop, this um, takes on a different character. I mean, you're, you only have two generals in your castle, and I'm able to collect three attacking pieces with my dragon, lance, and knight. Um, yeah. If things calm down, I feel like I should be able to make a decent attack. Yes. Yeah, if you can get like a silver or a bishop or some way of attacking my king through the back rank with something not, not back. Even, yeah. Not even that. I just mean like I would collect the lance. Um, I just need to make sure that your attack is slowed down first. That makes sense. If, yeah. I, have a, if I have a lance, knight, and gold. Um, like, yeah, that's awesome. Can, yeah, I'll have to look through your there. past game history a bit more and... Um, See some of these amazing checkmates that you've done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I occasionally I'll... get good checkmates, but I occasionally miss easy checkmates. Ah, yeah. Well, if you set up the right attack, yeah, the, it can, like you point out, simple checkmates can be quite effective. <laughs> um, I guess I'll have to go back on play shogi and practice some of my own after this. <laughs> Uh, so I'll go back to the main line. But yeah, that during the game I couldn't figure this out. Um, so I chickened out and just defended my silver. Yeah, I'm actually not sure if pawn there was a good move here. Mm. Um, hmm. I mean, yes, yeah, the move played. Oops, 
I want to get my knight up there instead. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Not, not immediately, obviously, but... Interesting. Um... Mm. Yeah, I thought the pawn drop... Oh, there you go. Yeah, that makes more sense to me. Um, yeah, then giving up your only pawn to place it on the board. Um, I think, though, tactically, this has a problem. I mean, yeah, my silver is pinned, but... Um, mm, right. um... Yeah, so, uh, so if nothing else, I probably can just take the knight, but I think I have an even better move here. It's just to win the lance, and then I can use the lance against your castle. Mm. But I'm also kind of threatening to promote this. Um, I wonder what's my best move. Well, okay, here there might be a cheeky tactic. Uh, I wish that I could get away with taking this and then taking the silver, but you do rook takes pawn. Mm -hmm. Well, if you if you play there, then I promote over there. Oh. Um, well, well, we'll take a minute to look at it. So, I'm threatening check here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I missed that. No, that's fine. So, yeah, I think... Oh, but yeah, you could... I forgot that if I take the pawn, this just lets you stick another pawn on the file. Uh, it doesn't... It doesn't do anything by itself. Um... Oh, but, uh, well, okay, yeah, this gets quite tactical, but worst case, I just take this. Um. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that is a nice attacking piece, but it's kind of on its own here. Um. Oh, interesting, right, because then your pawn could promote. Okay. Uh, hmm. I think I luck out in this case. So I can... Um, yeah, my rook is attacked, but... Um, yeah, so... I think this is okay. So maybe I should take your rook first. Yeah, so here I'm willing to like give up a gold for this exchange, I think. Oh, I don't have a bishop. Oh. I thought I was just going to have a bishop and drop it here and everything was going to be all great. Um, <laughs> huh. Funny how that worked out. Um, I mean, sure, I still do maybe have a lance drop, but it's not the same. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I messed up here. <laughs> also, a pawn there to protect against your rook. Oh, good point. Yeah. Um, okay, so my attempts to oversimplify this are... Uh, they don't work. So, yeah, I'd have to find something else here. Um, maybe I just take the knight. Yeah. And so my point is, like, as long as there's a pawn in front of the rook, uh, it takes you a couple moves to do something useful with the rook. And mm. it kind of sucks that my gold is floating out in space, and my silver is not defended, but um, maybe it's fine. Oh, right. That stops my bishop drop. Hmm. I just wonder how severe my attack might be here, but I don't have a gold to drop. Um. Hmm. Uh. 
I can maybe ensnare the rook. Maybe not. I, hmm. Mm. It feels like I've probably missed something somewhere. Yeah, that's smart. Nice. Um, you have that. Yeah. I want to play this, but it also spends a move to do that. Um, I mean, that's Sente. I can't come into the 4-1 because you can take my Rook. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's... Yeah, you're right. I see. That... Yeah. So, this... Yeah, puts your Rook in a space where it's not as useful and then I can escape all these attacks with gain of time. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, so that's possible, but I'm also having second thoughts about this wasted move here Maybe I should do something better. Um, yeah, it feels like there's a lot going on in this position. But yeah, you're right. You, you do could attack this. What I keep getting drawn back to is I could drop a knight. I could drop a lance. Um, this looks quite interesting. Yeah, you have a lot of end gamut to tactics like that um, yeah if i can get a decent enough position in mid game it should still be okay though yeah it's this is super sharp engines would be able to tell us what's going on here i don't know if we could figure it out yeah <laughs> um so yeah maybe taking the knight is insane here maybe i shouldn't do that um, yeah, you're right that the knight threat is definitely threatening. It's not easy to deal with, but, um, but if I can deal with it, then I'm doing well, but I just don't know if I can. So, but no, that, that you have a good point. This could be quite strong. And yeah, if somehow I deal with this threat on my left side, then like eventually you might get to drop here or something. And yeah, that's pretty spooky. Um, yeah, so this pawn takes... this could work, yeah. I don't see a refutation of it. Uh, yeah, in the game I chickened out and defended my silver and you spent your last pawn attacking this. And this kind of blocks your knight. You've also spent all your pawns, though, so... Oh, that's true. Um, yeah. I'm about there. to give one up to this pawn takes pawn here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're right, you're right, yeah. And yeah, I gave up the pawn. And things got tactical. <laughs> I wonder if I should have played there. Oh. Should have... You mean, I mean like... I this here, or? Um, I guess it's not actually threatening anything. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe this, this might make That's a lot of better. sense, too. Um, I think I'm one move behind what happened in the game, like, yeah, I, this looks pretty spooky for me. Oh, you, yeah, you could just promote it directly, right. Um, yeah, that makes sense. 
Yeah, I like this better for you, somehow. Uh, I've desynced again. <laughs> yeah, I like your pawn move suggestion here. Oh, sorry. I can I can also give you control of the board. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That seems really constructive here. Um Yeah, rook takes seems reasonable. And the race begins. <laughs> um, this is sharp. I don't know what I would take or move here. I think I have to take. Because then that results in this. And then that, I think, results in this. And the capture race begins. Drop that again. Oops, sorry. Uh, <laughs> All right. Melkor is going to sleep, so have a good night, Melkor. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's a pity I don't have another gold to drop and force the king away. Mm. Uh, um. Yeah, I try to avoid giving my opponent golds like. Hmm. That's why none of my attacks work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I maybe this one. I don't know. It's interesting. I guess bishop takes bishop as possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, your side of this looks better. I mean, I was excited about this, but... Um... Oh, that's the pawn again. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, okay, yeah, your attack looks really compelling. So I guess I need to plan out my ideas a bit at better. Some point, at some point I also have that. Yeah, so usually I have to, like, reply with this, and, but here it's not so good for this reply. But yeah, my rook's That's hanging in the corner, too. Yeah, that's a very good point. I could see how this attack works. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I... <sighs> it's funny, usually I'm the player grabbing a lot of pieces because I just struggle with checkmates, but here I'm offering tons of pieces instead, somehow. Yeah, lately I've been playing maybe a little bit too aggressively trying to take pieces. I end up getting a bit slow in the end game. Yeah. I guess the difference is, like, you spent, I guess, one, two moves building your castle, and just mm -hmm. one more might reinforce it a lot. Oh, Alexi's suggesting that I not take the lance in the corner. Oh. Do I have better? Interesting. Oh, wow. Uh, I didn't see this. This is new. Interesting. Um... Yeah. I guess given the state of this castle, I can do some pretty aggressive stuff. Mm. Hmm. 
Yeah, I saw four generals in the center of the board there, but um, yeah, there's some weaknesses. Or at least the gold's not defended. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm used to protecting the gold, but I've never, I've never come across this knight attack. It's yeah, interesting. I mean, how often does your opponent have just these, like the rook and the bishop and the knight, all set to attack you right away? Yeah. Usually, I like let my opponent get uh, at most two pieces. Uh, so, like a rook and knight is quite common in this position. Yeah. I guess that makes sense, because like, if you have four generals defending and two attacking, then yeah, you'll be able to mm -hmm. defend against a lot of attacks there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is good for you. Yeah, I think this pawn takes pawn um, seems like the cleanest way to go. I'm still not sure what the evaluation of the position is overall, but I think that's the cleanest yeah. move. Yeah. All right. Um, but yeah, you took the pawn here, and so I kick off this uh, activity. Um, so here. I, drop is a good move. Go, go ahead. Yeah. Bishop drop is a good move. It's protecting all of your pieces, or all, all of my threats at the same time, and also attacking me. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Um, as long as my pawn is blocking the file, and I'm not seeing a way for your rook to enter, it's... I can predict what you're up to and defend against it, I think. I should have played like that. Yeah, so... Um... Yeah, I was happy with this position. Maybe I got overconfident or confused or something, but... Uh, yeah, I guess this tries to make the position more complicated or something. Mm, I mean, I'm still threatening your knight, so I'm trying to, like, make you attack in too many places at once, so like your attack falls apart. Mm. But, I mean, you do have... Uh, this yeah. Bit annoying. In in retrospect, I feel like I missed something obvious. <laughs> Probably should have just defended this. Uh, or descent again. <sighs> Let's try oh. to show. Uh, oh sure. Oh sorry. Yeah, I can give you control again. Yeah. So um, I was looking at. Hmm. But I mean, you you have. Oops. Uh... Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. This is pretty annoying. Uh, I mean, my defenses are still pretty solid, and your attack is far away, so maybe this yeah. position is okay. Yeah, I, I like your side of this. Um, at least in this position, yeah. Um, maybe there's something a little bit earlier here, but, um, yeah, there's a lot of tactics for sure. Um, why is there no fork? Where's the fork? <laughs> oh, okay, I mean, maybe this is a fork. Uh, I'm sorry, well, that's a fork, but this looks easier or something, I guess. But no, my knight's still hanging. Um, yeah, I still have too many things hanging here, I think. I almost have something, but not quite. Yeah, this pawn blocks off whatever stuff I might have going here. So, yeah, I think you're still better here, too. Um, 
So I need to be careful about letting that rook not become active. Ah, <sighs> yeah, that's complicated. Um, oh, so bishop takes silver. Interesting. Yeah, because there's nothing better for the bishop to do here. Yeah, the silver drop. Yeah, that's a good defensive move. Wow. Can't believe I... Yeah. Yeah, that looks really solid. I look like I'm in a lot of trouble here. I mean, so have... Oops. Uh, oh, st yes. yeah, I have this. But, I don't know, this, in this position, it's probably okay. Well... Okay, yeah, since I don't have a gold, I think, yeah, the, the, yeah, you're probably fine here. If I had a gold to, like, drop next to the king, then that might... Well, it's my turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so what would you do here, I wonder? Yeah, I'm not sure that I should take with my silver, or block with my silver or my knight. Um, I want to block with my knight, because uh, it keeps my castle more tight. Um... I mean, yeah, I'd probably block with my knight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I misread things here. Somehow, I was thinking I would, like, drop a silver, drop a bishop, take here, but I missed that this is defended. Mm -hmm. uh, um... Yeah, I think that's fine. I think you're doing fine here. Yeah, so this probably would have been a lot safer if I had played a silver there. Instead, I went for the aggressive variation. Yeah. But yeah, I, I definitely would not have gone for this variation if, I, if at this point I was seeing the knight fork. I only saw it after you took. Oh, I here. see. Yeah, there's, like, knight forks everywhere here, and even if there wasn't a knight fork, I could still, like, drop the lance and take here, or, I don't know, mm -hmm. I could drop the lance If there back. were no knight forks, then I would have done that. Ah, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. I... You're right. Yeah, you're saying if there is no knight fork, then you just go ahead and do this, and it's fine. Um, obviously that would, like, lead to something like this. And, like you say, yeah, if there were still no knight fork, like, if I didn't have a knight or something, um, yeah, that makes some sense. I think you'd still, well, yeah, I was gonna say maybe I could expose this somehow even without the knight, but I think I need the knight for this to work. Um... But yeah, that, that's a good point. Um, yeah, I'm not... I thought I'd have other ways to break through. I just... I, I kind of need the Night Fork to do that. Yeah, so... I ended up needing to play this move, which is very... Yeah, this silver drop off I five extremely heavy. It does prevent the Night Fork, though. Yeah, I was looking at this during the game uh, and wondered, did I really need to drop the Lance to do this? But this is so much safer. Uh, oh, this is kind of fun. So yeah, you're threatening my gold general. So I could protect my gold general. Mm. Uh, and then I could protect it again. And I'm just trying to win a tempo. Mm -hmm. It feels like I should have something impressive here somehow. 
Oh, uh, wait, no, I can't. Yeah, I wonder if I still have like the knight and bishop stuff or a knight here. Or... There's got to be something. Mm. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could just take your knight. Yeah. Yeah, this looks... Oh, yeah, there you go. That's even better. Hmm. And... Let's see. I could... Oh. Ah, oh, getting the rook to move away is no easy feat. Um... Yeah, that's... I have to take that seriously. Okay, so yeah, I guess this is why the lance drop is not... Okay, what if we change something a little earlier? What if I do, like, lance takes here? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I should have done this. Yeah. Staying calm during the game would have helped a lot. <laughs> it was a very exciting position. But, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, if I just worked that through, yeah, that would have helped. In fact, I probably don't even... yeah. Oh, that makes sense. There you go. But then I'll take a note from your handbook. Mm. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I should have figured this out. It's kind of embarrassing I didn't, but... Uh. Mm. Oh, I can't drop another pawn in front of my gold. Not that I have one to drop, but... Hmm. Um, still don't look good for me at all. Yeah, worst case, I probably still have something like this. But, mm -hmm. uh... This position's got to be extremely winning. Where's my checkmate? Where'd it go? Uh... Mm. I'm one piece away. Yeah, I don't have the right pieces here. Hmm. Yeah, I misplayed it. Sorry, that's <sighs> Oh, this is tricky. Maybe the bishop drops too much. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This is, this is kind of a mess. To be honest, my attack is not so severe, so you could maybe even just. Bust oh. Drop. Um, no, you probably won't do that. Yeah. Oh, that one, yeah. And the king runs a bit. Mm. Yeah. The thing I didn't like here is that the king gets to run. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, I, I just need to practice my checkmates to see, like, there's some idea here. I don't know exactly what it is. Right. Uh, hmm. Huh. This seems okay for me. Oh, right. Yeah, worst case. Yeah. My rook, pretty... I see. 
Yeah, the dragons hanging. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Less justifying me sticking the gold on the left side of the board. <laughs> mm. uh. But yeah, I should have, yeah. in the game, I still, there were other lines where I could have, like, put the knight, or the lance in the center file. I should have just done that. It would have been a lot safer. Yeah. Yeah, this dragon, yeah, your attack got really strong here. And this pawn drop was probably close to Oh, go ahead. Bishop there might have been a bad move by me if you had played like that. Um, maybe. What was I afraid of during the game? Mm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'd, I'd actually seen this. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, despite missing the checkmate at the end of the game, yeah, i would seen that pattern here. Yeah. Mm. yeah, my defense is probably not the right one, but but yeah, my dropping the pawn on 5-4 just led to all of this. Yeah. <sighs> this is so bad. <laughs> I'm a bit scary here, but I came a little bit confident when I got to this position because it's quite hard to make me here. Yeah. Uh, I think your king's even harder to checkmate, though, so, like, I'm just yeah, that, that's, a lot that's of trouble. what I was saying. I was saying I was I, here, I became confident because it, my king is hard to checkmate in this position. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Is there a mate right here? Mm, oh, I see. Mm, wait. Mm. Oh! Oh my goodness. Uh. Mm. I thought my king would escape, oh, but it's... Yeah, even what I thought would work probably doesn't work here. Oh goodness. Yeah, I walked right into that. Well, I totally missed it. <laughs> so. Jeez. Alright, so I made several extremely questionable decisions leading up to this. Yeah. I see. Mm. And then the knight drops the wrong piece. Uh, yeah, so... I was, yeah. Yeah. This is what I was planning. Uh -huh. So... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have it totally re read out, but I'm pretty sure it's mate. Yeah. Um, yeah, silver doesn't change any of that. It's the same variation. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I basically just need to run here and pray for the best, but you probably still have your gold drop, and it's probably still all the same. But yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess my approaching your king was not convincing at all, and I made way for all of your pieces to approach my king pretty easily. Which you did well. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, that's a little bit easier. Oh, yeah. That's clever. Hmm. Yeah, that's really sharp stuff. So 
looks. Uh, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Um, unless you had something else you want to talk about, uh, thanks for playing and it's fun reviewing as well. Yeah, that looks. Uh, yeah, like I've got a lot to learn about the transition to the end game plus the end game itself mm -hmm. here. Um, yeah, the opening was pretty much a mixed bag, but your attack. Well, it eventually got really overwhelming very quickly because I just made a lot of inefficient moves toward the end game, and you exploited it really well. So kind of a relief. Lately, I've been losing a lot in end game, so I guess we both got more to practice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that was good fun. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, thanks for game and post game analysis. It's been good fun. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that was awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, hopefully, partway through, I got the audio balanced out correctly on my end. Sorry, I'm still learning some of this, but um, yeah, this is. An exciting game, um, yeah, from the top. I don't play Opposing Rook all the time, but I did want to learn more about it. I think I played it decently well, but yeah, as you find, uh, he suggested, although this is maybe accidental, that this is actually quite reasonable here. Um, I mean, yeah, Book would probably be something like this. Uh, I probably can move my Rook to attack on some other file. Um, I think, yeah, Moriuchi. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant uh, Muranaka has been doing quite a few videos on YouTube, and I think at one point he demonstrated um, the strategy whereby the silver goes here, and the gold's usually over there. Um, um, I think that has been shown, and then like this threatens to attack over here. But um, here, I think there was some crossing of lines because I just did not recognize this particular shape. Um, and this, so this combined with just there being lots of pawn moves caught me by surprise. Uh, I was really excited to play into this line because I thought even if I'm losing material, there's probably a ton of practical chances here. Um, yeah, I think this would have been really compelling, um, because I can exchange bishops and continue attacking on both flanks with gain of time. So this is just like a huge miss on my part to not win the pawn outright and continue my attack. Um, that said, like, even after what happened in the game, I did get an attack. I did keep their rook cut off for a while, but eventually I let them have an active rook or a dragon right in the middle of my camp. And we saw how that turned out. So, memo to self, like, maybe defend your king. Maybe if I'm going to exchange tons of pieces, have this up in advance so I don't have to think about it later. Um, or if I think they're going to have a rook in my camp, this edge pawn move might not hurt. It's too late now, but if I foresee that something like that might happen, yeah, instead of like moving the knight out, just spend a move on this. It's a nice defensive idea. I didn't want to do that here because I wanted to exploit this, but you know, I if I were to calm down, enjoy some tea, calculate some positions, I'd probably do a lot better here. The other big miss was just not doing this like I was thinking about doing, but didn't end up doing after all. Everything is hanging by my opponent, and I just couldn't believe that. But it's the reality here. And yeah, they're threatening to take this, but there's chances. Um, yeah, so that was very surprising. I guess I'm still at one Don for the time being. Who knows, maybe some future games in the ladder uh, will rank up again. Um, 
But yeah, I need to defend a bit better and attack with purpose. And yeah, we're still getting back into shape. It was good fun. Hope you enjoyed that.